Hey team, what's going on? Welcome to your Barefoot Bootcamp Volume 2 program number three or four. I don't know where we're at with this one. We have the beats going already. For this class, you're going to need a pair of heavy dumbbells or a pair and or a pair of light dumbbells. Truth be told, for this class, I'm mostly going to be working with the heavy dumbbells, which range for me 20 to 40 pounds, but you can go 10 to 20 depending on what your capability is. And for the light to medium, I have 10s, but you could always go 5s or 10s or 15s. We are going to get started with the mobility flow. Four circuits today, good times, so let's do this. Just focus for today is just to have a good time and to feel good. Leave the anxiety on the yoga mat, so to speak. We're going to start at the top, well, at the back of the mat, rather. Feet really wide. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, arms by the side. Bring the palms together. Inhale, reach. Exhale, by the side. Just connect with the breath. We'll do one more. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to make our way to the top of the mat. Drop down as low as you can go. Walk it out into a plank position. Push back, downward dog. And then back to plank. Downward dog. Back to plank. You can articulate. We're going to do one more and then come to the top of the mat. Right foot's going to step forward, right behind the right wrist. Left foot right behind the left wrist. Stand up. We're going to do things in threes, sets of threes, starting with the Charlie's Angels into corkscrew, into cactus arms. Just follow along. Take a big inhale. Exhale, Charlie's Angels. So scoop the belly, press the hips forward, round the spine. Open up the chest like you're ripping something open, and then you're going to roll the right shoulder into the right pack, and then the left shoulder into the left pack, reaching straight up. Thumbs come together, cactus the arms, and we have two more just like that. So, round the spine as if you're 007 and or Charlie's Angels. I'm sure they've made a remake of this so far in 2021. You're going to open up and then rip open, you're going to roll the left shoulder into the pec this time, and then the right shoulder into the right pec, arms come back overhead, thumbs come together, and cactus the arms, we have one more, exhale, so really round the spine, empty out the breath, beats in the back, dumbbells in the front, it's a good time, open up, corkscrew, so you can use your imagination for this one, imagine you're pulling a rope into the body, which is going to pull the right shoulder into the pec, and then pull the left shoulder, pull the left side of the rope into the body, which is going to roll or corkscrew the shoulder into the pack. Arms come directly overhead. Give me a fat cactus, because we all love a fat cactus. And then hands the heart center. Get as low as you can. Left hand will go back. Right hand will go back. Feet come out in front. You know this one. This is one of my favorites. Feet as wide as the mat. So you have equal distance. Three sets will add on on each one. Drop your legs to the right so that the knee goes inside the sole of the right foot. And then to the left, windshield wipering, or if you're in Brizzy, windscreen wipering. Adding on, drop it to the right, and then just press the hips up. Left hand can wrap to the right shoulder, drop. Other side. So feet drop, knees drop, plant the left hand. Grab the right shoulder. Give yourself a little love before the, you bust into some barefoot boot camp, dumbbell edition. One more set. This time you're going to drop and you're going to swing, swoop, circle the left arm up and over, and then back down. Other side, drop. You'll feel the hips start to snap, crackle, and pop. That means things are starting to happen. Reach up with the right arm. Come back through, cross the ankles. We're just going to go for a little typhoon vinyasa, half a typhoon from Hawaii. Turn around, come into downward facing dog. Left leg is going to swoop up high, scorpion the leg. Left foot's going to step between the hands, pivot, turn towards the center of the room. Right leg is nice and long. We're just going to make our way over to skandasana, dropping down. Go as low as you can go. So if you're uh, it's a little more shallow, that's all good. Two more. We're not judging. We don't judge during yoga. And we don't judge during barefoot boot camp. Remember, have a good time. Feel good, number one. Number two, learn a little bit more about how you move than you did yesterday. So know more about yourself than you did the other day before, which was yesterday. Turn, left hand, right hand, facing back to the top of the mat towards your dumbbells, stepping back into a right-legged scorpion, like a so. 
And then right foot down, drop the knees, send the hips back. Three, child pose, two, mini up dog. So I'm keeping it kind of shallow. Set the hips back, hips to heels, articulate through, roll through, wave through. Get to know how you move from your hips, through your back, through your spine, into the hands, sending the energy into the earth. Press it back, downward, dog. Right foot outside right hand, left foot outside left hand. We will grab the light dumbbell for this mobility part of the warm up. So on this one, you can do what's called perhaps a hammer type grip or crush the bell like so. Take it back towards the middle of the mat or the three quarter mark. We're gonna halo over the right shoulder, step forward with the right foot, right side three times. So halo over the right shoulder, Left shoulder, step with the right foot, and then twist to the right, and repeat, same side. So rotate, right shoulder, left shoulder, take a big step, 90-90, twist, one more. So right shoulder, left shoulder, very Game of Thrones. And now step, right foot, and then rotate, keeping the hips square, back to center, stand on up, feet really wide, it'll be easier to step. And your other side, don't forget about your left shoulder, like you're blocking a sword. So block the sword, let it go behind. It's a very guy thing to say. Step forward with the left foot, and then twist, rotate, come back to center. Two more times, so just over the left shoulder, behind. My head doesn't really move. Take a step, so we're getting some shoulder mobility. Testing the balance, actually, when we go into the lunge. Embracing the core and getting a little thoracic rotation at the same time. Now we're just gonna alternate, right side, left side, three sets. So right shoulder, take a step. Left shoulder, take a step, that's the first set. We just got two more. Right shoulder, you can look as if you're looking behind you. So I'm gonna rotate, step, look behind you. Last set. Woo, one more, step. Look behind, drop the back knee. Light dumbbells go back to the front, right hand down, right leg out, drop down. We're only gonna do 12 single leg stretch. I'll set you up, Pilates stance. Right leg to tabletop, left hand to knee, right hand toward ankle, inhale, prepare. Exhale, head and shoulders peel off the mat. Left leg goes forward, toes in line with forehead. I'll count you to 12. We'll consider this one, two, three. Option to send the hands forward, four, Option to bring the hands behind the head, five, six, for the last seven, you can reach back, eight, nine, we're gonna flow, 10, two more, right into some light cardio, because you know how we do in this fusion style class, it's gotta be one experience. Come forward, 24 mountain climbers, one, two, light though, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, brace the core, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Hop forward, hands on the hips, roll your hips. Three times to the right, three times to the left. Quick jumping jack. We're gonna do a little bit of a buy-in. So we're gonna have 10 burpees, 10 crab reach. I'll break that down. And then 10 double leg stretch right into the flow, the dumbbell flow that is. For the first circuit of the dumbbell flow, gonna go heavy, but feel free to go light, and I will mirror you. When I don't mirror you, you'll know, because I won't be facing you. Shake it out, 10 burpee, 10 crab reach, 10 double leg stretch. We start in three, two, one, here we go. You can add a little hop. I'll give variations on this one, maybe clap at the top. Two, now we're gonna reach back with both arms. Three, maybe now we're gonna reach up with one arm. Four, kind of tested the balance. Five, you can do a basic plank style. Reach up, six, or you can kind of worm it out, feet together. Seven, right foot forward, eight, left foot forward, nine, and maybe a single squat, 10. Drop down, hips, 
equal distance between your heels and the palms of your hands. Puff the chest out, flick the tailbone back. Left hand comes to the guard. Reach back, up and over. It's one, only 10. Two, three, four, to the guard, to the windows. Five, six, whoever caught that reference, bad person. <laughs> Eight, two more I think, elbow, hips, nine, look down, last one, hips, look down, two shoulders, one line, 10, 10 double leg stretch, both legs to tabletop, hands to shins, inhale, prepare, exhale, head and shoulders peel off the mat, inhale, come back to the breath, you can reach forward, back, this is three, modification, keep going, Cobbler's pose, four, five, otherwise, six, staying C curve, seven, eight, nine, 10, cross the ankles, roll forward, maybe no hands to get up, grab a heavy dumbbell, here goes first circuit, I'm gonna mirror you, so you have the dumbbell in your right hand, feet really wide, about shoulder width, puff the chest out, we're gonna go one and one, one deadlift, one very light hop, 45 seconds, here we go, hinge, so one single hand deadlift, place it down.